3M is a uh, very big, very diverse company, primarily a manufacturer of products, uh, consumable solutions. Uh, we have more than 20 different business units. Most people, when they think of abrasives, think of sandpaper that they would use to sand wood, or uh, they might think of their scouring sponge in the kitchen. In the industrial markets where I focus, we have a very broad portfolio of abrasive solutions that are designed specifically for customers looking to make things. Abrasive Systems Division focuses on the use of abrasives in industrial manufacturing. So anytime that you're welding something together, you're painting it, you want to create a very specific surface finish, we have industrial abrasives for that. One of the big drivers of the growth in robotics for abrasive processing, uh, frankly, is the inability to get skilled labor to manually process parts. And that's true, very true certainly in, in Western countries, but the fastest growing country in the world for robotic abrasive processing is China. And the same issue is happening there. Here at 3M, we've been working with robots and abrasive processing for over 30 years. So I think we've got our first robot in this facility in the late 80s. Even as far back as then, uh, the, the abrasive folks understood that they had to have a, a, a place, a center for customers to come in and, and prove out the concept. To do a lot of that work on a factory floor can be challenging to get all the abrasives there, to get everything set up right, whereas here we've got the equipment to simulate it, we've got all the abrasive options that could be used to do it, as well as several other engineers that we can talk to to try to get their input on what might be a better way to complete a task. This is a giant laboratory for us, it's a giant laboratory for our customers um, and our industry partners as well. Frankly speaking, without the involvement of 3M, it would be practically impossible for us at KUKA to develop the process knowledge we'd need to be able to satisfy the customer. What 3M brings to the partnership really is a, is a strong understanding of modes of utilization of abrasives, along with the optimum abrasives to use in a given application. For robotic abrasive processing, the strength of KUKA is going to be in accuracy and is going to be in durability. And, and we know from history and engaging with customers that the KUKA robots are considered one of the most accurate robots in the industry as well as a very durable solution. And when you're dealing with abrasive processing and generating dust and dirt, uh, durability is a big factor and ability to deal with vibration and things like that becomes critical. We're seeing things out there like force torque control integrated with robot controllers. There are vision systems, uh, temperature sensing type systems uh, that can be used. I like to say the hardware for that sort of thing is all out there. It's available. It's really the integration of all these pieces um, is where the innovation is going to happen. As we go forward here, we see that the head that we're going to use and the robot type start to suggest themselves. So it would make obvious sense to bring these two things together as a single unit, essentially a pre-configured robot ready to polish or grind as the customer needs that. But then to bring added value benefits, this pre-integration, the software that drives it, means that it's going to be much easier and quicker for the customer to deploy in his manufacturing process than trying to bring all the various elements together. I think in a lot of cases the, the culture in KUKA is so well aligned with the culture that's built within 3M. The focus on the customer uh, and the focus on industry partners. Frankly, every day that, that we spend working with KUKA is a day I look forward to.
Orange Intelligenz. 